What up, yo? Heading to the gym. Just figure I'll make a little video for y'all about you know distractions and and the whole purpose of them and shit like that. Puff Daddy. You know anything. I can't think of a lot of uh, things that happened in the past couple years, but I know Puff Daddy's the biggest one right now, but there's a lot of other shit that I don't really pay attention to once I see it, because I know why they're putting it out there. So it kind of just, I kind of forget about it, for real, unless I see it on Facebook when I stroll. But the whole point of their distractions is because they don't want us to see something or they don't want everybody to pay attention to certain things. So they use something else to distract us from that certain thing. Like, for instance, right now, the ports. I didn't even know nothing about no damn ports. I hear about Puff Daddy every fucking day. I didn't know nothing about no ports, right? And that could be a, a distraction as well. Like, this rabbit hole be so deep with these people. But anyways, man, they make idols and shit like this. These people, like, Puff Daddy and shit like that is an idol. Like, they belong to these people. These people made this or this idol, basically. They use celebrities and shit like that to distract us from shit that they don't want us to see. And I know y'all get tired of hearing this shit. You know, the same old thing over and over. They use celebrity to distract us. But you got to understand why they're doing it. It's bigger than what you think. You know, you could say, well, they use people to distract us. Oh, well, big deal. But it's bigger than that because it could be something that's going on that could affect all of us. And we'd have no idea about it. The fucking sun could be coming down to burn us all or some shit. And we're worried about Puff Daddy or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, the portals could affect us in a big way. The ports could affect us in a big way. And y'all worried about P. Diddy and this and that. You know what I mean? No. Uh, that's why these people get paid big money. Not only the uh, Puff Daddy and them, but um, basketball players and all that. It's all distractions, man. All of it. They used to use circuses and shit like that to distract us back in the day. And they had the same um, stadium look and everything. Now they just use football and basketball and LeBron did this or said that and all this dumb shit, man. At the end of the day, man, understand this shit is like a, a movie script. Like football, basketball, you know, P. Diddy, all that shit, man. P. Diddy's a mason, man. Y'all think that he had P. Diddy going to jail and blah, R. Kelly went to jail. Man, stop it, man. They masons, bro. That's why they made it big. You do not make it big unless you join the brotherhood, man. They're going to continue to distract us. How do y'all think they rule the world in the first place? Social media is probably put here as a tool for them. But the good thing is this. I feel like it's going to expose them in the end. It's going to expose the elite. It's already exposing them. Nobody even knew about no damn Illuminati shit. Even back in 96 when Tupac was talking about Illuminati, we didn't know what the hell he was talking about. But now, you know, like, like, I think somewhere in the Bible it says something about the Most High will give the so-called man of sin, the elite people, the knowledge to make something that they think is going to be for their own good, but it's actually to destroy them and to uh, reveal who they really are. And I think that's what's going on with the internet and shit like that. Revealing that man of sin. Nobody knew about no damn Illuminati. Nobody. Let's be real about it. Unless you was like older and you knew somebody in it or some shit like that. Man, we didn't know about no damn Illuminati. All we thought, all we knew about was the, a so-called devil with pitchforks and fire or some shit. You know what I mean? We didn't think that that's the devil. We didn't think that was the devil. Secret societies and shit. And, and, and people do exactly what they want them to do. Share the shit. You share the lies and share the distractions. This is why I think they gave us uh, um, 
social media platform because instead of them having like one so one outlet to uh, like news instead of them just having like a news outlet to spread their lies to you and the bullshit and the distractions to you you know what I mean now they got everybody doing it for them now they got everybody doing it for them you see what I'm saying how are we doing it for them because everything they put, say they put out a lie about P. Diddy, right? Let's just use that since everybody want to talk about P. Diddy so much. Let's just say they, they put out a lie about P. Diddy and then we run with it. Now we're spreading uh, reels and posts and everything about baby oil and P. Diddy did this and P. Diddy did that and all this other shit. Every damn thing we talking about, everything about P. Diddy, but nothing about what we really need to be focused on, what they don't want us to see. That's what I keep trying to tell y'all. That's what other people keep trying to tell y'all when they say it's distractions. A lot of y'all don't understand what this distraction means. Like, what does a distraction mean? They're distracting me from what? That's what you got to ask yourself. What are they distracting you from? Anytime a big, anytime something, some big type of story comes along, ask yourself, don't, even, don't, don't be like, well, what happened with P. Diddy or whatever? Just use that as an example. Anytime some big story come out, some black dude got shot by a cop or whatever, anytime they throw out some shit like that, you got to ask yourself, all right, what do they don't want me to see? I know what they want me to see. They want me to see P. Diddy, P. Diddy or they want me to see the black dude got killed by a cop, supposedly, because we know they fake that shit too. So you got to ask yourself, what don't they want me to see? Anytime they bring out a big, um, they call it diversion. You guys just, oh shit, let me find out. Let me start doing my research and see what's really going on, what they want, don't want us to see. You guys got to understand that P. Diddy and all these people are characters that belong to them people. That's why it's called selling your soul to them. They own you. He's a Mason, dog. P. Diddy is a fucking Mason. He ain't going to no fucking jail. R. Kelly probably ain't in jail either. These people are Masons, bro. Like it or not, they're Masons. They're all characters, man, of the Illuminati. Some of them even fake they deaf and everything. And a lot of y'all don't want to believe that shit, and that's fine. But, you know, like Nipsey, I don't see how someone could wear a glove pressing on a um, person bleeding wearing white gloves and there's no blood when you can explain this to me then I'll shut up but until then I seen the dude pressing on Nipsey's chest supposedly bleeding chest with white gloves and he didn't have a fucking drop on his gloves it's all distractions people now Pete Rose and this and that. If, if, if they say somebody famous dies and you can add up numbers and the numbers start to link up, it's probably not real. It's called geometry. And you have channels on this shit that people will start adding up numbers like the dates and all this shit. Like, nah, these numbers add up to way too much. That's way too many coincidences. It's probably not real when that happens. I do not believe in my heart of hearts that the, the so-called feds are after P. Diddy. I just don't believe it. I think it's a distraction for whatever reason. Sometimes they all sometimes this is not just a distraction for something that's happening right now. This is a distraction for the whole entire their whole entire empire. How they got over us in the first place. How how they, their children will be owners of your children, basically. Your children will be slaves to them. Because like it or not, believe it or not, we're all slaves to the elite. If you're not in that club, that Illuminati club, whatever fuck you want to call it, you call it government, I don't care. You can, They got all kinds of names, the same thing. If you're not in that club, you basically a slave, basically. Only way you're really not a slave is, is the truth. If you know the truth, if you know who they are and how they move, 
then you're free of them. The most high set you free of them because you'll know the bullshit that they pull. Like, I guess it's funny to make some, to see some rules about Diddy and baby oil and shit, but at the end of the day, y'all don't understand the effects that this shit has by people um, always posting it and all that. You're doing what they want you to do. They throw something out there and they want you to run with it and throw it out to the public. Instead of them only having one uh, source or what do you call it, channel or source, it used to be just the news. Before social media, it was just the news. That that was their uh, outlet to throw the lies out to us. Now all they got to do is put it out there and then all of us will run with it and keep posting shit. It's too easy now. That's why they gave us social media. In my opinion, that's why they gave us social media. But it, it also exposes them. I feel like God has used social media in a good way by exposing them. Because again, nobody knew what no damn Illuminati was. Even when Tupac no. was Illuminati. Nobody knew about no damn Illuminati back then. Because we didn't have no social media. Nobody knew about no damn Masons and all this other shit. All those big name people. Tyree's probably another one. And I know some people like to say, you're just saying that uh, they can't be great people unless they the white man or this or that. And nah, they got the talent. But you have to sell out. Shit, I feel like I sneeze. They got the talent. Man, I got sneeze and won't come out. They have the talent and the brains and shit to do that. But you got to understand there's, there's uh, gatekeepers to shit. They can stop you from doing shit. Who did they stop recently? Some, If you listen to Damon Dash talk a lot, how he tries to... It's just like Ice Cube. Remember Ice Cube tried to make that big three thing? And what did Ice Cube tell y'all? He don't want to be down with the club. And that's why they try to stop you. Ice Cube don't really want to be down with the club, so. This shit is real, man. Y'all can ignore this Illuminati, whatever the fuck you want to call it, government or whatever shit, all the fuck you want. But I'm not because I, I think in the Bible it's called the man of sin, the father of lies. It's, it's the, they're the devil. <laughs> Basically. It's not a guy with horns burning in fucking fire. It's, that's not it, man. It's the fucking elite. The people who rule the world and put poison in our food and shit. And tell us all these lies. And, and fucking grooming young children to be slaves and shit. Mentally and physically. At least back when you had so-called slaves that we know, mainly everybody know about. At least they knew they were slaves. People now, they don't even know they slaves. That's even worse. You think you're free and you're really not. You think you're free and you're really not, man. Unless you know the truth. The truth set you free. Because now I don't, now I know why, oh, I know why they put out rap music. Or I know why they put out that Diddy shit. Or I know why they fake that cop killing that, that, that black dude. Now I don't have to get mad in my feelings and all that because I understand like I told y'all a long time ago, man, I feel like this. If a if, if a cop, if a racist cop killed a black dude today, let's just say in day, in Huber Heights, I would know about it, or people who live around here would know about it, but ain't nobody in California or whatever gonna hear about that shit. It only it's only a worldwide thing that everybody knows about when it's something that they want, with something that they probably faked and they want us all to know about it. Because how could I hear about somebody, a normal person getting killed in California, but they can't hear about a normal person getting killed by a cop here? Why did that go viral, but the other shit don't? You know how many times a cop didn't kill somebody? Why we only hear about certain stories, Cherry Bomb, Martin, and all that shit? Why? Because that's the shit that they created. That's not the real shit. The real shit you probably wouldn't hear about. You probably would have never heard about no damn Trayvon Martin if it was legit. And then guess what? They got pictures of Trayvon Martin's dad with Mason shit. 
But y'all not hearing it, man. Y'all don't get it, man. Y'all just don't fucking get it. Motherfuckers wearing fake masks and everything now. You really believe that cop that, that supposedly killed the um the supposedly killed the black dude, right? What is that dude's name? I can't think of his name right now. But you know where everybody did all the riding in Columbus and all that shit. But it happened somewhere else. George, George, uh fuck. That's what I'm talking about, George. I can't think of his name last name right now, but there's been a video that they saying that that's actually Steven Jackson. I don't know if y'all know who that is. A lot of y'all might. A lot of y'all don't. Basketball player. And if you look close, dog. If you look at his face and shit, all they had to do was like put on a mask or some shit. Or kind of like give him a different look. Look, But the nose and shit is on point. Like, wow. But here's what I'm saying about this. Why would a... Let me say, I'm a cop killing somebody, right? You got a phone, right? Now, we know how cops could be. So, you're trying to tell me the cop didn't say, hey, give me that phone. Or he going to say, hey, I see you recording me, but I'm going to kill this guy right here in front of you. I'm going to commit murder right there, and I know you got a phone looking at me. That don't make sense. If anything, the cop would have let up or some shit. Ain't no way the cop going to literally say, I see people with a phone, but I'm going to still kill him anyway. Come on, man. Yeah, and we got social media now? Ain't nobody doing that shit. That don't even make sense. And then the license plate tags wasn't even real. Or something was wrong with it. Something was off with it. A lot of people like to shit on YouTube and say, ah, it's just a bunch of people who don't know what they talking about. That you believe anything on YouTube and and I and you shouldn't believe everything on YouTube. You gotta piece your own shit together. And you gotta ask God to give you the discernment. But that don't mean that you could completely disregard regard it. Like ah, it ain't nothing. It's all wrong. No, it's probably not all wrong. They just probably don't have it all right. But if you go here, you go to this video about. Let's say you got one topic. You go to this video. And you get little pieces of some shit. Go to the next one. And then the next one, then eventually it's going to come together and it's going to make more sense. Like, that's probably the truth. Or this is, you're going to come up with some kind of conclusion. That's where that discernment comes in, man. But people believe the, uh, you, the news all day long, but shit on people on YouTube. You know, they'll believe the so-called elite because they control that media. The news media, they'll believe everything they say. But if it's you or somebody like me, nah, I don't believe what he's saying. Or I ain't listening to what he's saying. Like right now, say I was Lil Wayne saying all this shit. Or, or whoever, Eminem or whoever. One of their idols. Well, they their idols. It's really idols that they created for us. To, for us for to be our idols is what it really is. One of their characters, should I say. You know, somebody who sells themselves to them gives their likeness to them basically so it can be used to deceive and distract us right now let's just say i was eminem or whatever lil wayne or even jay-z making this video right now saying everything i'm saying everybody oh shit he's right dog this and that but since i'm not that and i don't have that clout right people are gonna be like he don't know what the fuck he talking about man this is why they that's why they use famous people because they know that people are going to listen to famous people you're not going to listen to every everyday people like you would a celebrity. That's why they own all the celebrities. And if celebrities talk too much, they mysteriously have a heart attack or some shit. Worst Cat Williams that I ain't seen him since. I ain't seen that motherfucker since. Where he at? Have y'all? I ain't heard shit, man. Fuck around and you see another new looking Cat Williams won't even be the same guy. Fuck around and replace him. Y'all don't believe that shit either. That they um, can kill people or clone people and all. They got robots and all type of shit. All I'm saying is it's some wicked ass shit going on. I don't know all the truth. I don't have all the facts. But I know there's some wicked shit going on. I know there's some wicked ass shit going on. And that's why I stay researching and and 
on my P's and Q's, man. So the Diddy shit, even football, I'm a football, I'm a sports fan. But I know that shit's not real now. I just know. Taylor Swift and all that, that's distractions. Whether it's a, a violent distraction or, or entertaining distraction or a civil distraction, like the Diddy shit, it doesn't matter. It's all distractions. The baby put some, the lady put her baby in the microwave. It's always something, man. Watch, watch. The next story is already coming. And then watch everybody jump on it and share it and do exactly what they want y'all to do. Share their lie. Now everybody's distracted by the next lie. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Sometimes I feel like since the numbers add up on, on a lot of celebrities' uh, deaths, like their numbers be adding up. You know what I mean? Like um, Nipsey died on the day of the um, release of ATL and he's with the girl who was in ATL. You know, shit like this that just doesn't make sense. Why is it always adding up? You know what I mean? It's always adding up to this shit, but whatever. Sometimes I feel like I could be wrong on this, but I've thought about this a few times. Like, why do the numbers add up? Either they fake their death right or I thought deeper sometimes and uh, I feel like sometimes that maybe the person they sell their soul but eventually they have to take them they have to kill them I guess I don't know but why they die on the certain days like the numbers always add up it's just some weird shit <laughs> like Kobe Bryant in the helicopter thing on a cartoon, and then he dies in the hell. I'm just, ah, man, I don't. It dies right after LeBron breaks, breaks the record. It's just weird shit, man. Like, there's no way that that's, there's this many coincidences. It just don't make sense. I feel like they're all celebrities. All of them, from the actors to the fucking basketball and football players, they all part of it. And if they don't want to get a part of it, that's when you see people magically just disappear. Like, what happened to him? Why'd he fall off? Remember all those earlier rappers in early 2000s? You had Chingy, you had all of them. What happened? why they just all just disappear? Am I lying? What happened? All of them just disappeared like that. Now you only got certain ones. What's up with that? Some people say that they let you taste. Some people say that... Like some people will ask, well, why the fuck would somebody get into something if they know that it's the Illuminati or whatever the fuck? Some people say they actually let people... Like, you're talented, you're gifted, but they let you taste the fruit, and then once they feel like you're hooked to the fruit, then they reveal who the fuck it is, what, it, what are you really doing. You Like, you really worshiping the devil, or you really doing work for the devil. Let's just say I'm a rapper, and I'm making a, a bunch of violent music, right? And then I get 20 million in or something, I'm about to sign another big contract or some shit, and then I get a, introduced to the Illuminati and shit, realize, damn, I'm really doing the devil's work. I'm putting out music that's poisoning to other people's kids or some shit. And then, uh, you know what I mean? People have a choice. By that time, they're so used to making that money, they probably just sell out. Then some people say that they drug them and shit at parties and shit. And then they show them a video the next day. Look at all them guys sleeping with you. Cooperate. Or this is going to get put out. Shit like that, man. I, man, I'm trying to tell y'all, the shit's not... It's some wicked-ass shit. It's some wicked-ass shit. Mess, sleeping with kids. Killing kids for organs. Sleeping with same genders. Man, all kind of shit. Sacrificing people. Shit ain't worth it, dog. I'd rather be this than the rich motherfucker that probably did some shit like that. Or just stuck in that shit. Nah, I'm cool with this, dog. When I think about what the shit they dealing with, 
make me feel rich as fuck. Because I feel like they're so deep in, I don't see no point of return for them. I don't even think they could leave that shit if they wanted to. I think they, like Paul Walker, for example. A lot of people say, nah, why would they kill Paul Walker? They said Paul Walker was trying to leave and go to church and all this shit. And then, you know, a family guy, Brian in a red car. Remember, he ran into the red car, ran into some shit and blew up just like Brian in the red car. I just don't. This is what I mean. Why so many coincidences? And I could show sports heads, the dude sports heads, I could show them so many plays on video of, look, this dude just let him run fast. Oh, no, it just happened, dog. That, you tripping. That shit ain't rigged. Believe what you want, dog. You want to keep believing in Santa Claus all your life? That's on you. But I know the truth sets me free. That's why if my team loses, I still like football shit. If my team loses, I don't get in my feelings about it. A lot of them games be coming down to the last minute. And Vegas always wins somehow. It's always on point. Like the spread. How? How's the spread always on fucking point? These are professional athletes. How the fuck he missed that easy ass kick? But yet you got a kicker kicking a ball at night, hitting the light pole on point. Anytime he wanted to. On point. But in a game, he just missed that shit. Or this guy just dropped the pass. And every game just comes down to the last play. To keep y'all glued in because they need the ratings and shit. They need you to watch the advertisement. But you know what I'm saying? If you can learn how to figure out who's going to win, you'd be rich as fuck. If you could just figure out how they got that shit scripted, you would be paid. But a lot of people, a lot of men, they don't want they don't want to watch it that way. They don't want to believe the truth. They want to believe that it's all real. So that's on them. I ain't scared of this port shit, whatever the fuck. I ain't scared of none of it. I'm not worried about anything these people, they got shit in our water. They doing this, they doing that. I'm not worried about none of that. People say they believe in God, then what you worry for? I can't worry. I'm not going to live my life worry about what these illuminated people are doing. Putting shit in our water and all this and all that. I ain't worried about none of that. Hiding in caves and underground and shit. Going onto an island, leaving America because they're done with America type shit, but they want to distract us and not let us know. Trying to collapse the dollar, all this shit going on. All the shit we should be worried about, but they always got these these distractions, sports and Diddy and all this other shit, because they don't want us to pay attention to what's really going on. Knowledge is power, and the truth sets you free. If everybody knew the truth, their game would be over. You got like a little ass percentage of people and they use race against you too. Race, money, all that shit. To separate us because they can't have us all come together. So they got to use racism to separate us. They got to use money to separate us. They got to use gender. That's a new one. If you pay attention, trying to make genders hate each other. You know what I mean? That's why the social media um, channels that just strictly are only for the men talking shit about the women or vice versa. That's why they shit blow the fuck up. If you have a channel like mine who's trying to like be for both people, good luck with that. But if you got some shit that's just one sided, they, they, they're going to help you blow that up because they want genders to be against each other. Anything to keep us uh, separated as people. Because you got that one, that little ass percentage of people controlling every fucking body and deceiving everybody and lying to everybody. Then you got the people who sold out to them, your celebrities and all that. You know what I mean? Playing a big part of it too. So really it's more than that. It's more than like that little percentage because they got so many people in the palm of their hand with the money and shit. 
So think about that next time you decide to share a video of Diddy and all this or whatever, whoever the fuck, or somebody fighting or some shit. You know, like my my people, a lot of times they'll share videos of people fighting in the hood and shit all the time and all that shit. All that's doing is making other people say, oh, shit, look at them. Don't deal with them. That's all they do and all that. And that's keeping people separate. That's what they want. It's exactly what they want, man. And y'all fall, y'all fall for it because you think it's cool or you think it's funny to show somebody fighting and shit. It has a big effect, though. And then the, the, then the people who see it, who are the same type, who are the same people, they think it's cool. Now they think it's okay to do the dumb shit. When really they should be focusing on getting their life better, but instead they watching a video of girls fighting and shit. Ain't no girls supposed to be out here fighting and shit. It's just ridiculous, dog. And it ain't gonna stop. Only other thing I could think of, too, other than this distractions and shit. Is I, I know for sure Diddy's a Mason or Illuminati, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I know for sure he, he is or he was. Only other thing I can think of, he broke the oath somehow. And they after his ass. Like you can't like Bill uh Bill Cosby trying to buy NBC. Then all of a sudden, oh, these girls got raped by uh Bill Cosby. Soon as he tried to buy NBC. Which is basically owned by the devil, the big boys, the elite. Oh, you think you bigger than us now, huh? You out of hand. We made you, Bill Cosby. We helped you become this rich. Watch this. And that's how they look at it. Jason Watson. The moment he asked for the fucking trade from that contract he signed the next day. The next day. Oh, but Sean Watson was raping women or trying to get raped. War was all this before he asked for that trade and shit. Trying to tell y'all, man, y'all not hearing me, man. Too many coincidences. I'm tired of, I'm tired of, oh, it was just another coincidence. I'm tired of that, man. How many coincidences are y'all going to give these motherfuckers? All I'm saying is understand these people, study these people so you can understand what they're trying to do to other people and to your personal life so you don't fall by the sword, man. Like the bad bitch movement. Women ain't supposed to be moving like that, man. I get it. It's okay to a certain extent. Like the one to look fly and shit as a female and all that shit, but a lot of that shit is just way too overboard and way too toxic. It has no meaning and, and it makes men not even feel like you're dealing with females anymore. At least a, a solid dude. Now, I don't know about them closet dudes. They might actually like shit like that. And they might not even be in the closet. They just might don't realize that they, they like in women who are moving like men. But it's getting it's getting worse and worse with this bad bitch shit. Women moving like a man, basically. Thinking like a man. All that shit. It makes them feel like the value of a man is nothing. Therefore, we have the separation that they want within the genders. You know what I'm saying? Social media makes people think they're better than what they are. You know, so people might overlook somebody who they should choose. Might choose somebody else or just simply just overlook a lot of people and they end up with nobody or they ended up or they end up with their heart hurt and all this other shit. Now they mad at men or mad at women. Now they want to be players too. Just making it worse. They don't want homes. They don't want structure. In any type of way. 
whether it's just you and your home or just like races of people coming together. They don't want people together, man. Damn, man. How close you gonna come to that car? That dude crazy as fuck. That's crazy. But when you study these people and you understand how they move and shit, you'll know when you see the shit. You'll start to see it easy. Way easier. Like at first you might not kind of cut. It might it might be hard for you to catch on to certain shit but the more videos you watch on these people like I'm not saying every video you watch got a 100% correction to it but you'll be able to make your own discernment because God will give it to you you know what I'm saying you'll start to be able to pick up on shit it'll be just too much too much of the same type of shit from you studying you know what I mean and you're going to be able to pick up on it and then you're going to see it in real life like ah they're actually doing what I've been studying or learning I see why they're doing that now. And then you could pass it down to your kids because if you don't pass it, that's what they don't want. They, they want us to, that's one of the biggest reasons why they got to keep us distracted because th that the only way to keep the shit going is for them to let their kids know the plan and to deceive your kids of the plan. Make your kids think the plan is just some illusion. It don't exist. So therefore, they will keep ruling over your kids and so on. It'll keep happening. And it's been happening. If I have kids, they're going to know the real. I'm not going to, I like, I wouldn't say don't listen to rap. You know what I mean? Don't do that. Or don't have sex. And no, I'm just going to, I'm going to educate them on it. I can't stop them from doing what the fuck they want to do after a certain point. So really all I want to do is educate them on every single thing I possibly can. So if they just decide to do it, they're going to know that I told them about it. Then if they get burned, maybe they'll make the right choice next time, right? But just saying don't do it, that's not enough. I'm going to explain why you shouldn't or why this is here. Why is rap here? Why are they promoting sleeping with a bunch of women or a bunch of men? promote sex and all this other shit why don't the rappers who get got good messages why they get blackballed some of them get paid off and then they turn bad they good at first they get paid off and then they turn bad start talking about shit that don't even matter anymore I feel like, honestly, I'm going to go deep on this shit because I don't understand how you don't see it. I just don't. I don't understand how, if you are a black dude, for real, listen to this shit. Even if Diddy is a sellout and all this other shit, how do you not see that they are basically using you, the so-called black man, right? And making you making it seem like you're always the one that's doing all this freaky shit or robbing or stealing, and then you promote it. Instead, you even if Diddy's wrong, I'm not gonna promote that shit. I'm not gonna promote another black face in the wrong way. You shouldn't. You should recognize what the fuck's going on. But y'all don't. Because y'all don't understand why they do what they do. There's all kind of white dudes that supposedly, let's just say the shit that he doing is real. Is real, right? There's all kind of white dudes doing that shit, Right? But now a lot of white dudes might look at you and other black dudes and think it's just y'all and shit. And then what if a white dude is messing, God forbid, but what if a white dude is messing with his little daughter? He worried about the black dudes or some shit. He worried about the black dudes robbing them. What if he, what if his next door neighbor about to rob him? 
He thinks he's safe because his next door neighbor looks like him. Or even worse, a lot of people think they're safe because the government looks like them. Oh, they just killing the black people. We ain't got nothing to worry about. That's that delusion I'll be telling y'all about. They're not going to promote or fake, promote or fake a white cop killing a white dude. They not going they don't because it doesn't it doesn't have the, the same boom to it. It doesn't have the same effect to it. People see it and be like, okay, white dude kill a, uh, a white cop kill a white dude. Okay. And move on. But when they put the color twist to it, now everybody and their mama in tuned on it. And if you're a white dude and you fall for that trap, like a foolish, stupid ass. Oh, it's just the black dudes, they were, they, uh, I'm good. You're not good. You're the same boat as me. You know why? Because the elite are made of same type of people like me. The elite, the Illuminati got people look just like me. So if you think it's just all white men in Illuminati, you're good and it's only affected the black person, I'm good. And, or you think the bad bitch movement only affects the black women and you're, you're, if you got white daughters or whatever, you think you good? You're not good because your daughter can listen to that music. She ain't got to be black to feel what the fuck they say. It's just for some reason a lot, a lot of people gravitate towards black people in their music. So they're going to use whatever, they're going to use whatever, um, works the best whatever tool works the best since a lot of people look up to black celebrities let's use this diddy shit as a, as a distraction this will work if you don't understand what I'm saying if they could they probably would just use let's just say like they did back in the day they, they wanted to promote black men to go to prison so they use movies and they use mainly music right if they could they would use just white dudes to be rappers and do it but they can't because they know the the black community is going to relate more to a black person who is a rapper who looks like them and in your mind you think oh he's not the sellout he's not the illuminati it's only the guy that doesn't look like me that's the illuminati but in reality he's a part of the illuminati too he just looks like you, but you don't get that. And that's the same thing that happens when you see racist white dudes who don't realize that you think that you're good because they look like you. You're, you're falling for the same trap that so-called black people fall for when it comes to this rap shit and these actors and these characters. You think that there's Jay-Z and the rappers, and then there's Illuminati over here. Nah, nah, they're all the same. And once you realize they're all the same, you're going to look at them all the same. So you're going to wonder, why is why did they say that or why they're doing that? Or why are they doing this with P. Diddy? So you can't look at it that way when you don't have this discernment of they're all the same. It's all the same shit. It's all the same Illuminati doesn't matter about the color. They not worried about fucking color. They worry about brotherhood. They got y'all worried about color though. They got the racist the racist country dude that thinks he's better than black people or can't stand black people or think it's only affecting black people. You know, they got him thinking he's safe. He good. Or it's black people that's the problem. That's another one. Yeah, it's the black people, man. All they do is steal and shit. They making the country worse. No, the people who rule the world has way more power than the so-called black people, right? They're the ones that's making your shit. They're the ones that's putting poison in your food and shit. But they want you to look at the little dude on the street corner with the selling a little bit of dope. And they want you to think he's the killer. He's the thug. But really... It's the people in the White House who's the killer and the thug. Way bigger. On a way bigger scale. Maybe the dude on the corner is a killer or a thug. But not on the scale of the uh, fucking elite. The elite. Uh, but a racist dude is not going... He's not going to acknowledge that. 
He's only going to look at the black dude as the problem and the enemy, not the people who look like him. And that's the fucking problem. Just like the black people only look at the so-called elite as a problem and not Jay-Z or other people or athletes. No, they're a problem too because they're selling out and deceiving you. That's what you're not getting. And you're not going to get it until you get the racist race out of your head. Or the money part out of your head. Oh, honey, they're poor. Um, they might steal my car. Let me lock my shit. Next thing you know, uh, a guy that you think does not steal and shit in your neighborhood who look like you, the one that stole your shit. This is what racism could do. Let's say I'm a, I'm a white family and the black people next door, right? And then I got some other people. I got some whites on the other side and somebody stole my shit. Society has already brainwashed me to think it's got to be the black people. Because because for one, black people have been stupidly agreeing with uh, displaying themselves as, yeah, the thief or the thug or the hood, hoodlum or whatever. So it's part of their fault, too. But the point is, you're going to think by default, man, it's probably the black people who stole my shit, bro. And what if it's the white people next door that, that look clean and, I mean, like, they look innocent. This is what racism does to you. It can do it to all of us if you're not careful. And they know this. That's why they use it. That's why they use money and, and racism to the to uh, keep us separated and distracted and all this other shit. But whatever, man. Either y'all get this shit or you don't. I mean, if you got kids, I suggest that you start studying this shit and understanding what the fuck you're dealing with. Because if not, then it's your... You have to... The only way to stop this shit... It's through your kids. You gotta have to let you, 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 parents have to arm their kids of this knowledge. Knowledge is power. How many times have we didn't heard this shit growing up? Knowledge is power. Cause it is. And the only way to stop this shit or save motherfuckers is to, you're gonna have to arm your kids with the knowledge. So they can understand who the elite's kids are and they don't fall for the fucking traps. And your kids will stick together. So they're not controlled and owned by the fucking elites, kids. If not, then guess what? The the same shit's gonna keep the cycle gonna keep going. Cycle gonna keep going. I'm not gonna keep talking to y'all about this shit, man. Fuck around, make me a target or some shit. <laughs> but as long as I don't have a big audience, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Which they probably gonna they they they. Just pay attention to people who you think is trying to help people be conscious and shit. And look at their numbers versus people who's causing all the friction and diversion and all. Look at that. Just pay attention. Look how they, they videos get way more play and shit. Motherfuckers worry more about Diddy than they own life. They own life. They own life got problems. They worry about what Diddy got going on. Diddy's a fucking Illuminati Mason, man. Ain't nothing happening to Diddy. He ain't in no fucking jail and all. It's bullshit, dog. I don't believe it. And if it, if it is him going to jail or something, it's because he did something against them people. That he sold out to. And it always happens during election year. COVID comes back. All these all these coincidences. More coincidences. Now COVID's back. Just like the election year, year uh, election shit last time. And everybody be like, the Simpsons predict everything. The Simpsons on point. Because the Simpsons are fucking owned by the fucking elite. Who stage events and shit. That's how they know. They try to act like they God. It says that they're going to modify themselves as if they are God. Like making fake food. Making fake people. Creating, uh, like controlling the weather. Everything that God does, they want, they trying to do themselves. Like they are God.
we already got the fake food, right? God gives us food, they give us food. They make their own fucking fake food. God makes people, now they're making people. God make controls weather, now they want to control weather and find ways to control the weather. Everything. Y'all don't get it, man. I'm done talking, man. It is what it is. The truth ain't for everybody. But the truth will set everybody free if they knew if they know what the if they seek the truth and they ask God to show them the truth about all this stuff, man, they'll be free. But until then you're not gonna be free. Not just with knowledge, just in general. You're not gonna be a happy person. You're gonna be a worried person, you're gonna be a stressed out person. Oh, the borders are the ports are closed and all this dumb shit. You know what I mean? And your kids ain't going to be armed with the fucking armor of knowledge to know who's their real enemy. I don't want you talking to them black people down the street. Meanwhile, the fucking government is putting poison in that same little Johnny's cereal that you told watch out for the black guy down the street. Think about it. I know y'all see some of the racist arguments online. You know what I mean? You got the black people thinking that it's just normal white people who's the enemy. Right? Well, really, it's the elite, and they're made up of all races. Then you got other people who think that black people are the problem, or they think that they're good. They think that they ain't got nothing to worry about because they've been brainwashed to believe that. They think racism, they might not say it, but they think that racism on their side and all that, which makes them a fucking target, an e uh, easy target. Because they think that they're good. They don't understand who the real problem is in their life. Because of race or racism. But if you if you took away the racism, then maybe they understand. All right, I, I know the black people do a little bullshit, but I know who the real problem is. You know what I mean? I know who's putting poison in my cereal or... You're right, it does. There is cop killings going on and shit like that. A lot of people turn their blind eye. You know why? Because they think that it's not happening to them. Think about it. Think about this shit for a second. And I'm, and I'm talking about mainly racist dudes. You, if you, and I know all them cop killings ain't real, but some of them are. The reason why a lot of them don't care is because they think it's not happening to them. If they knew it was happening to them just as much, they would care. They would have a problem. But instead, what they do? The black dude must have not been complying. He must have not been doing this or that, right? And on the flip side, you got the black people thinking it's only happening to them, which makes them look at the other uh, people instead of the elites that they should be looking at. They're looking at other people, arguing with the other people who, are, who might be racist online or whatever. Because they don't think that it happens to them to people. They don't think it happens to white people. They think it's only happening to them. But that's what they want y'all to believe. They want both people to think that it's only happening to one per, one group of people. But it's happening to both. They basically deceiving both of y'all. Kind of they plan both of y'all. Because you don't know the truth. And that's the fucking problem. And you can apply that. You can use that cop thing. But you can apply that to anything in the world. Like locking my door, oh shit, uh, he must be a thug, let me lock the door, type shit. Or I don't want to hire him, Tuan, he don't look like he 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 uh, a good worker. Then they hire somebody who looks like them, but really I was the best, what if I was the best motherfucker you could have ever hired? But that's where racism gets you, you see what I'm saying? Done, man. Y'all have a good night.